Hello gamers, Agavor here and welcome to 30 tips for Daisy 0.51. As I've mentioned in a previous tips video, getting 50 or so tips is a struggle after giving out nearly 500 tips so far. So I'm downsizing to 30 tips to make these videos not only shorter but contain quality tips over a quantity of tips. Anyway, let's get the tips rolling, starting with a very important tip. The best way to lose your gear in this patch is joining a server too quickly after a server restart. Wait at least one minute before rejoining. You only need to drink five times past stage two hydrated to be full on water. Drinking any more will only make you stuffed. With your character window open, your hotbar items will respond instantly upon pressing the corresponding key. Don't think your breath vapor gives you away while hiding. Only you can see your own breath vapor. If your character is shaking but you don't have a broken arm, it means you are cold. Sit next to a campfire to stop the shaking. This can happen even without the cold status. In 0.51, cooked human meat has a 50% chance to cause brain disease, along with burnt human meat having a 25% chance to cause it too. Brain disease now causes twitching. In order to grow tomatoes now, you will need to water your plants initially with a canteen or water bottle. If you don't, the plant will simply disappear, even with the lime additive. When you remove plants that have grown slightly in 0.51, you will get plant material, but this looks to have absolutely no use apart from opening up the 420 playstyle. The firefighter helmet, gorka helmet, skate helmet, welding mask, pilot helmet and ballistic helmet now protects you from a large amount of shock damage like the hard hat or motorbike helmet. However, these helmets at the badly damaged quality level only protect you from a few punches. Luckily, the leather sewing kit can be used to restore all helmets in game to the worn quality level, meaning you can take a lot more punches. If you lift the hood of the V3S up and go third person while driving, you are protected by a bulletproof shield from the front. By running into the side of the V3S, you can get it unstuck. Just don't turn the engine on while people are pushing it. Getting into the V3S with a weapon in your hands means you won't do the weapon host animation when you get back out. While using turbo on the V3S you use around 25% more fuel, so only use turbo when struggling up hills. The V3S is not indestructible, it gets destroyed after a huge amount of damage has been applied to it, whether it's a grenade or simply hitting it with melee weapons. Another weakness of the V3S is driving off the map or into the debug zone. Getting out while under the map kills you instantly. Compasses have been getting into the Christmas spirit and need to go home. Don't trust them to navigate the map in 0.51. Walkie talkies work again in this patch but only transmit up to around 1000 meters. Rangefinders can no longer measure range from inside your inventory but you can zoom in like this to measure range still. Handheld objects such as the jerry can deflect damage to your arms instead of where the bullet would actually hit. The MP133 now has a variant to pistol grip shotgun. It spawns in police stations and American helicopter crash sites, but only holds four shells. The AUG has been added and spawns at American helicopter crash sites. It's not worth searching for until attachments for it are added, however. On persistent servers, helicopter crash sites are invisible. Search for persistent off servers if you want to find any. The model for American helicopter crash sites has also changed. The ghillie suit can now be crafted with netting found in these boats and burlap strips made from cut burlap bags. Don't search for a tent in these apartment buildings without adequate inventory space. You can't get down the ladder with something in your hands. Throwing the tent off the roof will make it disappear. The military tent has been added. You can open and close the windows and doors, but it can only be seen inside of 200 meters. You cannot shoot through the tent while you can see it, but you can shoot through the tent while you cannot see it, because Daisy. If you manage to find a damaged or badly damaged tent, you can restore it to the worn quality level with a leather sewing kit. As we know already, the flashbang can blind players through walls. If you don't want to get blinded, look away before the flashbang explodes. Bonus tab! This is super secret, but hidden inside the tires of the V3S are hover pads. Simply destroy the tires to activate them. 0 0.51. What can I say? It's a mess. Client crashes, server crashes, loads of inventory bugs, persistence is worse than ever, and script kiddies still laugh in the face of admins trying to check their pulse. But 0.51 gave us the first taste of vehicles in Daisy, along with the long awaited ghillie suit and better tent. On the plus side, the Woba Community Private Server is now online with the help of these fine contributors on screen. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you in the next video on January 4th.
The Reddit Rescue Force are on hand to help you survive longer in Daisy. Visit their subreddit for more information.